Welcome to my website, drummingexpert.com. This video covers some of the details regarding traditional grip uh, with lesson number six, the 16th note timing and triplet timing grids. Now, the other videos on this site, I play matched grip, but I talk about all the specifics of playing these exercises correctly. So please make sure you've gone through all of those exercises or all those videos and and learned about those exercises. Really the main point at, at this level is to just have you give you a chance to see me play the exercises traditional grip, remind you of a few important things as you develop your left hand, and have you get a chance to see me play these exercises traditional grip so you can continue to work to make your left hand look really, really good. So the first exercise is 16th note timing. We're taking the basic, the four, the first four rhythms from the timing grid, and we're playing the standard 4-2-1 format with check pattern. So I'll put that exercise here up on the screen. Let's just play all the way through this at kind of a medium tempo, and then we'll go a little bit faster. Match stick heights, smooth motion in the left hand. The real challenge with traditional grip at this point is to just get a nice smooth motion, hold on to the stick, and match stick height, volume, and rhythm with your left hand or excuse me, to your right hand. Get your left hand to match your right hand and have it be really smooth. All right, let's go about one, let's one EN to two EN, medium tempo. One, two, three, and four. There you go. 16th note timing, 4, 2, 1. Notice the way I'm holding my left stick. These are wrist strokes. The stick is not floppy. Common mistake. Be all loose and sloppy. Don't do that. Develop your wrist first. We'll get to developing rebound and uh, that motion with your left hand, which is a lot of fun, but you got to learn how to hold on to the stick and move your wrist correctly first before you can do that other stuff right. Let's do 16th note timing, 4 two, one with no check pattern. So we're just going to go straight through each rhythm, 4 two, one Put it up on the screen here. Here we go. 1 EN, 2 EN. Ready? Go. Smooth stick heights, medium height, nice strong stroke on each note. All right, let's do both of those exercises again, but let's take the tempo up. Let's go back to 4 two, one with check pattern, 16th note timing, 4 two, one with check pattern. One, two, three, and... Let's try it without check pattern. Ready? One, two, three, four. Yeah. 
I love the way those rhythms flow through the hands with the multiple stroke concept. During the E and A rhythms, the left hand's moving continuously. During the one and and rhythms, the right hand moves continuously. I talk about that in detail in the other videos. Make sure you got that happening. That's a very cool part of that. Okay, the last exercise is triplet timing. So we take the triplet timing grid, and we're just gonna play through this one one time. Um, you can play with this exercise in a four to one format, but the number of rhythms and so forth, I'm not gonna do that here. We're just gonna do four counts of each one, four counts of triplets, and four counts of each rhythm variation. Keep the hands flowing, keep that underlying check pattern going, keep that left hand looking great. One, two, ready, and. There you go. Work on those timing exercises. Work that left hand. Good stick control. Let the rhythms flow through your hands. Good luck. Let's go on to the next lesson.